<laughs> guys are next to me he was recently in USA Today. You can also listen to his podcast, The Empty Bottle Chronicles. Give it up for Rob Sherrell. Oh, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Hey. Happy Black History Month to all the white people. Yeah! That's the color in the room. I like that. Happy Black History Month. Uh, the comedy addict legally obligated to let me perform tonight because of that. So. <laughs> Right on, my niggas. <laughs> All right, so uh, recently I read a, uh, a headline in the news that said, family threatens to sue Disneyland after a snake bite kills grandmother. <laughs> Just digest that. Don't say shit. Just listen to that. <laughs> family threatens to sue Disneyland after a snake bite kills grandmother. As crazy as that sounds, the only thing that I can think of crazy about that headline is the word threatened. <laughs> because if my grandmother gets sneezed on at Disneyland, we're suing the shit out of them. <laughs> we're taking, oh, no, it's not poor family, they lost their grandmother, it's poor amusement park because Rob's coming for all the dimes, every dime you got. <laughs> Mickey's gonna be one sad ass mouse. <laughs> I'm taking, he's gonna, you're gonna see him on Kirkwood with like a sign in Pluto asking for change. <laughs> You got a dollar? You got, hey, hoo -hoo, hey, you got a dollar? <laughs> Bitch, I know you at least got one dollar. Come on, Pluto, we don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is kind of fun. <laughs> no, it's my first time actually drinking while performing on stage, so you know, round of applause for that. Woo! Woo! I know this is a pretty cool thing. Uh, and never forget the first drink. First drink I ever gave to my dad. My dad gave me my first drink ever. You know, it, it didn't go exactly how he planned initially. Uh, you know, he, he, he sat me down. I was like, son, I'm gonna give you your first drink. Here's a beer. And I look at him and I split my eyes because I'm confused. I'm like, I shake my head. And he's like, why? You too good to drink with your old man? I said, nigga, I'm two. I don't <laughs> give me my formula back. <laughs> my dad, uh, my dad left, uh, you know, left me when I was really young. Probably after that, because I said no, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you know, he is here tonight. He is here in the back. Everybody, get up for my dad in the back. <laughs> Nate John Lux is not back there. <laughs> Nate John Lux, she got happy too. She's like, oh, <laughs> good for him. <laughs> No, I don't know where he's at. He's cool. <laughs> um, the last time I was on the comedy attic stage, I was single. Uh, now I have a girlfriend. My dad's not here, but she's here. Raise your hands for me. Yeah. That's been fun. Uh, <laughs> having a girlfriend is great. Uh, it fulfills a lot of aspects of your life. Uh, makes makes life happier, better, all that, all that bullshit. Everything, you know, everything's better. But we argue sometimes. You know, our lives, our lives is not perfect. No relationships are perfect. And I, I'm one of the things that I am. I'm socially active. I'm like politically active. Black Lives Matter movement, Black Power, all that stuff. And it's kind of hard to have be in a relationship while that's going on. It's kind of hard to be politically and socially active while you have a girlfriend. Because I'm out here trying to, you know, change the world. And she's like tripping about the little stuff. You know. <laughs> I feel like that's why Martin cheated on Coretta. <laughs> because, because I feel like she was tripping on the little stuff. And Martin's like, what do you mean I didn't wash the dishes? Bitch, last night I had a dream. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but no, um, having a girlfriend is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, a while ago, one of my last girlfriends had uh, what's called a pregnancy scare. <laughs> oh no, yeah, laugh at that. Yeah, that's fucking funny, right? Yeah. It's the scariest shit in the world. Because the scariest thing you can possibly do as a male is not swim with lions. It's not skydive. It's not vote Republican if you're me. It's going to CVS and buy a pregnancy test. Because everyone there judges you. I went up there to buy the pregnancy test, and I looked at the cashier, and she's like, well, you know, what do you, what do you have? Put it on the counter. So I dig right back in the bag, put it on the counter. She looks at me, looks at the pregnancy test, she's like, oh. 
Give it a credit. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for my time. I'm Rob Shrill. First thing they teach you in your own major about having a comedy career. <laughs> One more time, Rob Sherrell. <laughs>